I was outside tasting sea rocks when all of a sudden I saw something. It was the two most famous shrimp in the sea, Bella and Charlie. They both had parasites infesting their gills. But I was like, don't worry, I'll help you. Not right now, Addison, we're busy. I began to remove the parasites from Bella and the operation was a success. Next, I was helping Charlie. This pesky parasite wanted to stay behind, but I got that one out too. Their bird friends traveled from all over the sea to come and meet them. We hooked them up with some free parasite merch. I was outside sniffing a wild sea potato, when all of a sudden I saw my good friend Julie the jellyfish suffocating in the sand. I ran over to pick her up, but remembered that she is a stinging sea nettle jellyfish. I looked around and picked up an old piece of broken bucket to use as a jelly eater. I figured, hey, I can use this to safely pick up Julie, and then throw it away later. I carefully scooped up my little jelly pancake and walked her back to the water's edge. I gave her a gentle yeet and saw several tiny comb jellyfish that were drying up too. The first one was Sarah, and she looked like a cute little blob, except with tentacles. I rushed her over and wee. Next up was Jill, and I could tell she was afraid of me because I was a giant. Don't worry, Jill, I'm here to help. Wee. Finally, there was Helga, and I was so excited to see her because I haven't seen her since last Wednesday. All right, Helga, let's go home. Wee. And be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Hey, Herbert, you okay, but Oh my gosh. What is going on here? What are you guys doing in here? Gosh, there's so many of you. Get out of Herbert. This is crazy. This is great crab migration. This mud, this mud right here, guys. This is the mud. This is the mud, guys. Yep, this is it. <laughs> this is the mud. This, this is the mud. <laughs> it's not the mud. I flipped over a barnacle rock only to discover two infected shrimp. The first shrimp I was going to help is Molly. Look at her flippers right here. They use these to swim and carry eggs. This one's going to be a mother. Congrats. All right, let's get this parasite out so that Molly can become a mother. Did you know these parasites are related to pill bugs and they're commonly referred to as sea cockroaches? Well, now you know, and you're basically a marine biologist by this point. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, that means you're weird like me. So hit that like button and follow if you haven't already. The next patient on our list is Victoria, and she has plans of becoming a single mother too. But her dreams will never come true if this parasite isn't removed. Look at this parasite hanging on for dear life. Get out of here. You're a good shrimpy. Time to feed these parasites to my good friend Franklin the Sea Chicken. <laughs> also, I have a new YouTube video up where I explore a deadly sea cave and help rescue even more shrimps from parasites. Go check it out right now. I was outside tasting sea stones when all of a sudden I saw my good friend Fabiola the Mussel and all of her gooseneck barnacle friends trying to die on the beach. I found them a nice spot in the water and gently yeeted them back to safety. I thought my work here was done, then out of nowhere Maggie and her sister mussels were trying to die too. I picked up the cluster of lovely mollusks and rushed them back to the water, gave them a gentle yeet to the sea, and if you love ocean animals then smash that like button and consider following for more ocean videos. I was outside tasting an old sea plant when all of a sudden I saw a huge stranded jellyfish trapped on the sand. I dropped my lunch and quickly ran over to help the defenseless jelly pancake. It was my good friend Jasmine. She was trying to sunbathe but realized it was a bad idea. I gently picked her up, I gave her a little kiss, and then a gentle yeet. Just when I thought my work here was finished, I saw her sister Maggie fighting with a piece of bulk help. I ran over and gave Maggie jellyfish CPR and offered her a ride back to the water. She accepted my offer and I sent her sailing with Jasmine. Afterwards, I found a huge chunk of dead jellyfish. Rest in peace, Jelly Nugget. I figured this would be a good opportunity to feed my friend Ted the Sea Turtle. I yeeted the jelly ball into the sunset and found another jellyfish! It was all tangled up in sea litter. I put the sea litter in my pocket to have for a snack later, picked up the cute jelly blob, set her free. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. I was sniffing at old seabird feather when all of a sudden I saw a family of shrimp lost in the kelp. There were hungry sea chickens nearby so I had to run over and help. I picked up the big old daddy and realized he had blood-sucking parasites infecting his body. I carefully began removing the pulsating parasite. It was so big and juicy that it was hard to get out. But I got it removed and I gave Larry some pets. Next I began helping his daughter Brenna. She was terrified of my sheer size, but I told her she had nothing to worry about and I'm going to help make her feel better. I grabbed onto that festering parasite and slowly removed it from Brenna. Next, it was time to help her mom, Olga. 
Olga's in a shrimp club for moms, and apparently I recently helped a friend Jenna, so she was very understanding. I took out her parasite and thought it would be a good idea to feed those hungry sea chickens, but they all got bored and left, so I yeeted the parasites into the compost, set the shrimpy family free, and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. I was outside licking a mysterious sea ball, when all of a sudden I saw something. It was a shrimp drowning in a river. I ran as fast as I could to go help. Turns out it was my good friend Victoria. She was infected by an invasive blood-sucking isopod parasite. I pulled the parasite out of her gill flap and began to investigate it. This big juicy part of the parasite is the female. This little white thing is the male. The male parasite attaches and holds on with his jagged little legs. These parasites are very strange. They're an invasive species causing the extinction of this species of shrimp. Afterwards, I gave Victoria some pets and set her free. When I try to make new friends, what is it, Brad? It's some type of like eel thing. What? Where? Right here. There's one that was like moving this way too. And it was like a long one. Right there! Right there! Oh gosh, is he? Oh, he's so cute. This cute little fishy boy is a common eel. They don't get much bigger than this, and lots of other animals eat them. But I'm not gonna eat you, little buddy. How am I gonna name you? I know. I'll name you Friend. I overheard two shrimps crying. They were both infested with parasites. As they were saying their final goodbyes, I just couldn't let the parasites take their lives. I picked up Jenna and began to help her. First, I gently lifted her gill flap and carefully rolled the parasites out. The parasites didn't want to let go, but they were no match for my muscular fingers. After we were done, I gave Jenna some pets because she was so brave during her surgery. Next, I picked up her good, lovely companion, Jason. He was terrified of my sheer size. I mean, I am pretty much a giant compared to you, but I'm just here to help. You'll feel much better once this parasite's removed. After we were finished, I was going to feed the parasite to Franklin the sea chicken. I looked left, and I even looked right. But Franklin was nowhere to be found, so I decided to give him a proper burial. I set my good friends Jason and Jenna free, and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Last year I put a parasite on my arm to see if it would attach, and quickly realized it was a bad idea. Like the shrimp, I noticed a bulge in something growing underneath my cheek flap. That's when it hit me. I've become infected with a blood-sucking isopod parasite. I rented a van and began my journey to my doctors in Los Angeles. We had to drive past giant volcanoes, San Francisco, all the way down to the shark-infested waters of Santa Monica. We arrived at the surgical facility, and I was nervous to meet my doctor for the first time. So nervous, I died on the operating table. Then like Frankenstein, I came back to life. I'm waiting on the doctor to send me more videos of the operation, so follow for part two. A year after placing a shrimp parasite on my arm, I noticed something bulging underneath of my cheek flap. Today we're going to find out if I have a shrimp parasite, but I have to warn you, viewer discretion is strongly advised. As I lay on the operating table, sweating like a Wagyu steak, the doctor injected me with a painless serum. This way, I wouldn't feel the sharp steel slicing me open. At this point, I could barely hold still. I began having visions of shrimp parasite removals, wondering, have the parasites finally gotten their revenge? This is your final warning to look away. As Dr. Lee began squeezing my cheek, she told me this was no parasite at all, but in fact, a cyst that was full of skin cells. Check out the full vlog on my YouTube channel right now, and be sure to follow Dr. Pimple Popper and myself for more oddly satisfying videos.